Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Let's set the stage as we get ready for our 4th of July weekend. Big dome of high pressure continuing to bring the monsoon thunderstorms over across the southwest, but you can see how much of a bone dry forecast it is for much of the state of Texas. Meanwhile, we've still got a little bit of moisture along the Gulf, that boundary that's been hanging out, bringing the thunderstorms the last couple of days still in play for today, but that high will start to shift eastward as it does. It'll push all the moisture out of the forecast. And in fact, as we go in through this afternoon, we're going to heat up back to about 94 degrees. We'll likely see a chance for some isolated showers and again an occasional thunderstorm this afternoon. Not out of the question. Gulf moisture still being pumped in, and there's that boundary, and it's close enough to us that that, along with the Gulf moisture combination, and of course the heating of the day, enough to kick off those chance for showers as we head into this afternoon. Same thing on Friday, it'll probably be about a 20% chance. Same for Saturday. That's the end of it, though, as this high starts to shift east, it expands, it's a lot stronger, and then look at that, all of the showers pretty much gone as we head in towards our. Independence Day. It should be a good looking forecast. It's going to be a hot one, though. Feels like temperatures will be about 105 to 110, and we're going to keep highs at around 96 for Saturday, Sunday, and of course for the 4th of July on Monday. Today, we'll go 94, 20% chance for today. Tomorrow, Astros start a big homestand against the White Sox. Should be a good forecast there. Obviously, roof closed because it'll be on the toasty side. And then look at that. We're going to keep 96 to 98 degrees. Would not shock me to see if a couple of folks are going to be flirting with their first triple digit heat as we head in towards the middle and the end of next week. That's your forecast from ClickToHouston.com. Thanks for joining us here. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated for all of your holiday weekend plans coming up over the next couple of days.